Okay, welcome back. Now let's start to break this apart. Uh, Sumit P's analysis uh, done just a few minutes ago has already gone viral on YouTube as we speak. Okay, uh, as is uh, Joyta's, uh, and uh, we are getting uh, the others uh, out there uh, ASAP uh, so that you can follow along and share. This is, of course, analysis, but I want to ask some difficult questions. Uh, and they're really difficult questions. The difficult questions is because it is going to eventually happen, some of these things, but when? Joyta Basu, 20 years ago, uh, Sharad Pawar was diagnosed with mouth ulcers that turned out to be oral cancer. Mm. It was 20 years ago. Okay, 20 years ago, I was in college. Okay, and people have been trying to write off Sharad, Sharad Pawar for the last 20 years. Okay, uh, he had split the con he had split from the Congress. He had started his own party, you know, with Sangma and others, the NCP. Uh, the Congress won. Sonia Gandhi did a better job than he expected. He came back to form the government. But at all sorts of ups and balances, they've been writing him off. The traditional plan, ladies and gentlemen, of the NCP was that Ajit Pawar was going to be the inheritor of the Maharashtra sort of MLA's constituency, chief ministerial candidate person in government. Supriya Sule was the one sent to Delhi to hold the fort in Delhi and nurture uh, politics uh, at the central level. This was the breakup. This was upset when push came to, sh push came to shove. And it seemed to be, or at least Ajit Pawar felt, that Sarad Pawar had started favoring his daughter over himself. And then it was all, all up in the air. And we saw that, as I pointed out, five years ago. Complete confusion. Ajit Pawar goes this way. Then he goes into the house. He doesn't come back. Then he comes out and he's, he's resigned. He's going back to meet the governor. Then again, he's gone the other way. And he's become deputy chief minister twice. So the question, is this going to be Sharad Pawar's last election? Joyita Basu. Well, either way, yes. You know, I would be very surprised that even if, I mean, they have been talking about we are going to get the maximum number of seats and all. Even if that happens, I don't see Sharad Pawar becoming the chief minister. I mean, the thing is that you see, if it's the last election in terms of his health, I do not think him being in a position uh, of uh, power or basically having a control over the party for the rest of his life and all. I don't see him in that kind of a position. That is the reason why I would say he has been uh, projecting uh, Supriya Sule as his heir and which actually caused so much problem. His selection has already been made. So I think perhaps his mind is also made. Oh, I've got so many questions, uh, but I, I, I want to take it one by one. Sumit Peer, we've been writing off Sharad Pawa for the past 11 years, uh, but he's been unright offable. This time around, is it different? Is this his last election? Rishabh ji, look, uh, you know, nobody can defy age. Mahabharata was about uh, Putrumo and sh this Pawar fiasco is about Putrimo. I mean, the logic is same. History teaches us a lot of lessons. Now, honestly speaking, there was a time when Sharad Pawaji was a national power player. He used to make and break governments in the center. Then he became to state. Then he became to alliance. Today, if you look at his stature, he is just what can happen within that alliance. Beyond that, he doesn't have a stature, and his best guy is his arch rival. So, in, in the in the in the clash of the titans, it is not his era, it is not his age. He is not on the right side of the things, and unfortunately, he is not with the best of his health. Five years down the line, I don't think there is a factor which is going to be there. Look at the national level; he is not a power any longer. Even at a state level, he is struggling to keep his flock together and keep his identity intact. Now, if you look at Baramati contesting Yogendra Pawar against. Uh, you know, uh, against the other power, Ajit Pawar, doesn't make sense because that talks about your desperation. Because when you see either one will lose, so from your family, it's like, do I trade my right hand for my left hand? This is something like that. So if you are at that level, that means you are desperate, you are insecure, you are worried. I can converse the argument. Either way, somebody wins. Okay. I can flip the argument around also, Sumit, that either way, somebody wins. But okay, Sumit P fails. Okay, this is just sheer age. Uh, I've had the privilege of interviewing him a few times and. Uh, mind has always been sharp it is to this day okay and give him credit uh, he's hung in on there trying to see the transition but eventually just sheer force of time and tide uh, take over it's a difficult question tejas mehta last election for Sharad pawar one of the doyens of modern day indian politics you know, let's start by by what you said first you know 20 years ago what really happened i mean they've been writing him off ever since i mean two things have really pushed him ahead. One is, of course, uh, you know, his absolutely political mind, which 
there is nobody in Maharashtra who competes with him. Even the best of uh, you know leaders agree with this from, from any political party that Sharad Pawar is one person, especially in Maharashtra, Western India, and of course somebody for uh, you know uh, uh, the, the not the UPA but the India Alliance now, uh, who is a very very central figure. Then you have the fact that in spite of you know look at look look at what has happened in this election. I mean he is the smallest party. But he is almost competing the same number of seats as uh, the Shiv Sena. So he is managing to get much more than what his party really deserves. So he, this is a man who is much larger than life. But do not write him off. Remember that visual of him standing in the rain and, you know, giving his bhashan and not backing off. That is the man really. So I have a lot of differences with him with the way he conducts his politics. But he is a survivor. He is somebody who has not really given up. I do agree that age is a factor. He is uh, 83 now. He will be 88 in the next Maharashtra and, and this elections. And by then, of course, uh, you know, one cannot rule out anything. The, it's nature taking over. But if his he health persists, I do believe he is somebody like Karunanidhi or Jayalalitha. Okay, don't write him out. person who will continue to be... Uh, Do not write off Sharad of Pawar offense. until the very end, a happy or bitter one, as yes. one as fate will have a man who uh, not too long ago, very much in this century, many thought was a contender to even be prime minister, uh, given uh, the right uh, fates of circumstances in electoral politics. Alok Mehta, Sharad Pawar, last election. Uh, started his career from Kabaddi. So I still believe, and that's why I've written in 1993, a contender of the Prime Ministership after Narsu Rao. My book was Rao Ke Baad Kaun, Who After Rao. This one whole chapter was about Shahid Pawar. And 95-96, he was trying to come in the North India also, but then he withdrew. So still, he keep all options open. With BJP in, earlier also, when <laughs> Ajit Pawar joined with Facebook, at the time also he was aware, okay, he jayega, tabbi hamara to rahega. I still feel, that's why I feel that even the Congress party is a stalwart. Even if they have accepted Shad Pawar as the Congress president, the United Congress, then they have different results than Rahul Gandhi or any, anybody else, or Kharge or anybody else. So what I feel, the Shad Pawar is still in a better position, whatever he will get, I'm not going for number, but especially for him, I think even the, that's why Mr. Mehta also mentioned uh, earlier our guest, because Shad Pawar, the credibility in some areas and uh, sympathy for him, and he is also, he keep all the options open. With Prime Minister Narendra Modi also, he has very good relations. You see, like even Hudda, Bhupendra Hudda had good but, uh, respect for uh, Modi ji, and Modi ji also used because he was also chief minister. So think this kind of political person, but Hudda was never, but Shad Pawar also changed because I met Yashwant Rao Chauhan, I met Vasandada Patil since days, those days. So Shad Pawar is a very, very clever politician. He dished every leader from Yashwant Rao Chauhan to Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi. Still Rahul Gandhi now is with him. But he can change mind and change the pala. But in Kabaddi, you say, I hope you also, in school days I was also a player in Kabaddi, go to the half mark. So he always tried to keep all options open. Maybe for Supriya Sule, you will find after some time, he, she will join coalition with the Modi ji or BJP okay. in future. Anything is possible, okay, but uh, sort of, could be his very well his last election. A.K. Mishra, Shalat Pawar, is he done? He will definitely uh, take the asylum from the politics. All these factors are, you can say, I don't con consider, but I consider one thing. That mental mental power as well as the energy, whatever it is required for active politics. Of course, as a, as a godfather, as in a symbolic manner, he may be available for giving the statement or drafting little bit kind of the strategy. But physically, at this moment, he is not fit. He cannot carry out. As well as if he is going to get defeated or if he is not going um, to be successful to form the government. Mentally, he will be broken, and even not only from his party, but the voters from the Maharashtra as well as the opposition. Whatever okay. he has earned as a leader, he will be losing each and everything. That's why, if he is not going to win, definitely he will be out from politics. 
Okay, all right. So now that's the 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 version on Sharad Pawar. Let me pick up another thought. Thought number two. Joyita Basu, in your opinion, do you think that the RSS mobilization will be a factor in these elections? Yes. Not only. Joyita, go ahead. Yes. Uh, yes, absolutely, Rishab. In fact, one of the reasons uh, behind BJP's not so great performance in the Lok Sabha elections is said to be that RSS did not mobilize as wholeheartedly as I am certain uh, BJP would have preferred and there was some kind of a problem there. But it seems Haryana, the RSS mobilization worked really well and the thing is that we have to see. What, ha what has happened in Maharashtra because I am hearing both sides. You know? Okay. So, you feel yes, it would be it would yes. be an impact and probably a positive impact, not a negative one for the mm, performance of the no. BJP where it was a bit different during Lok Sabha. Sumit Peer, will the RSS mobilization be a factor for the BJP in this election? Do it with the BJP because he knows politically he might be able someday to create something like BJP, but he won't be able to create another RSS. RSS works with the entire family. RSS worker is silent. He's stealth. They worked. They don't want anything from you. They are the people who will go and give the you know money on a Guru Dakshina, you know Guru Pura, and they don't want anything in the return for you. Haryana, every house was visited twice by RSS workers. That is why you see this kind of a result. And in the Lok Sabha elections, we had a bit of an issue wherein it was believed that RSS may not be required so much. BJP has gone bigger. But that illusion and delusion and that perception changed. Now, the, here the idea is without RSS mobilization at the grassroots level, because these are people who don't expect anything from you, who don't need anything from you, which are jode. And the RSS is attached to the whole family. So, when an RSS worker visits, he is trying to have the whole family's views or, you know, a point of view converge for his thought process. It would be very, very sacrosanct and important for BJP's win without RSS. You simply cannot make it. Okay. So, you are saying yes, it's different this time around. Alok Mehta. Do you think that the RSS has come out more enthusiastically? Certainly. I think uh, RSS is very active. In Lok Sabha election also, they were not opposing. Maybe in the states also, there was some problem. We are not discussing those factors now. I have different opinion than the others. They said, okay, they were not sabotaging at that time. But here, I think Maharashtra is a god of RSS. You see Nagpur headquarters, Nitin Gadkari ji, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi, is RSS, hardcore RSS. I always tell ki ho sakta hai ki Narendra Modi sar sang chalak hote aur Mohan Bhagwat ji Pradhan Mantri ho sakte the. Yadi sang aur party decide karti. To us sthiti mein sang ka virodh ho na, mani sang can't oppose the BJP or dislike the passing issue. Last in Lok Sabha election experience over confidence at various level, maybe at central or in the state level also, the over confidence in UP especially, they uh, lost uh, so many seats uh, in Maharashtra also. There was some problem because of this. Okay. But now, RSS is a major factor for BJP. Okay. And RSS is totally it remains a factor, better mobilization, expecting better coordination. And of course, uh, remember the headquarters uh, and we saw Mohan Bhagwat voting uh, today. So, put the same question then to Mr. Mehta. Mr. Mehta, what do you feel about the RSS role in the assembly elections compared to what happened in Lok Sabha? No, absolutely, I do agree. There could be minor differences here and there. But uh, without the RSS, uh, BJP cannot win elections. I mean, it would be very, very difficult. Probably what uh, we saw during 2014 and then 19, there was probably more the BJP factor playing out then than the RSS. But, uh, you know, there are, this, there are two sides of, of a coin. I mean, you can't take them away. Uh, and of course, uh, as uh, Mr. Peer also has said, I mean, they are a force multiplier, ideological force multiplier. Don't have to pay them. Khali ek shabd bol do, jayenge. So I, I think uh, such an organization, the advantage of such an organization, uh, the India Alliance does not have. And, and if the BJP enters into some sort of, uh, you know, ego battles and tussles as to who is dominating whom and all of that we saw perhaps in the 90s, you know, that's really going to hit uh, the NDA and I don't uh, really think uh, the BJP okay. is going to go so anywhere that given okay. what we saw that the close calls we are seeing in every election. Okay, that's a yes. A.K. Mishra, RSS <laughs> mobilization helping the BJP this time around, yes or no? Not only helping RSS will be always dedicated, al uh, al they were always dedicated and especially this is the fight of Maratha land and RSS started from Maratha land itself. 
So this is not only the question of subject matter for the victory of BJP. This will be also also the subject right subject matter for the you can say the RSS as well as the Nagpur. If they are going to lose, it means RSS has lost uh, their ground from the Maharashtra, which will be very much defaming type of the concept for the RSS. So RSS is going to participate. R RSS is going to mobilize voters from their house, come out from their house. Uh, to take them to the polling booth and ensuring psychologically that yes, of course, you will vote to the BJP and okay. you will not go here and there due to any reason. Okay, stay. Okay, stay with me. One more question before we take a break for all our panelists. It's a very straightforward one. Joyita Basu, has Uddhav Thakre dropped Hindutva? Yes, he has. You know that is one word the answer to it. Yes, he has. And uh, whether that is going to play, I mean, help him or not, we do not know. The sympathy factor will uh, help him definitely. But the Hindutva factor, perhaps he has understood, you know, there are other vote banks okay. which the Congress so and NCP. The inheritor will bring of Bar Thakre, who is to send, send the car sevaks to Ayodhya, has himself not been able to find time to visit the Ram temple in Ayodhya yeah. once it has been built. It has almost been a year later. But you can argue that does not matter because the BJP did not even win Ayodhya. Sumit Peer, has Uddhav Thakre gone past the way of Hindutva? Is there no longer an issue for him? I think Rishabh ji, unfortunately, it is true. Uh, legendary Bala, Hidai, Hindu Hidai Samrat, Bala Saab's legacy is lost. Uddhav Thakre could not hold on to his father's legacy. If Uddhav Thakre would have not opened the space, Shinde Sena would have not existed. And for him to come back is water under the bridge. We have seen a lot of his statements. He is trying to become a Congress, which he cannot become with the kind of legacy he carries. And unfortunately, he has betrayed the hearts and minds of people. Because when we talk of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj and Balasab Thakreji, and then we look at Udhavav Thakreji, and that, the, you know, the image okay. gets disheartened and it is a, we, we, we have a break of heart. That's what Okay, there are other electorates there, but that used to be the core electorate as ta the time of Bal Thakre. Alok Mehta, is Uddhav Thakre not the Hindutva icon that his father once was? Certainly, the Hindu Sabrat was the Bala Sahib Thakre and was, he feel proud. Here, because he did so many adjustments with all parties, Congress party, Shrat Pawar and all, I think he is ideologically, maybe as a Hindu religious, he must be a religious person, maybe, and I still believe all these things. But as an ideology and the support as a what Bala Sahib Thakre, the credibility, he lost everything from there. Okay. Tejas Mehta, same question to you. Hindutva and Uddhav Thakre, are they an uncomfortable fit? Question. He is a, unfortunately a pale shadow of his father. Uh, ideological dilution has happened and therefore he has no other option, political choice, but to dilute his the Hindutva he believes. Great for the Congress, great for Sharad Pawar because they can also say that look here, we are Hindus, we a Hindutva party is also a Hindu uh, party is also with us. So it works for the Congress and the the Shifts and, and other NDA uh, sorry uh, uh, India Alliance partners. Okay. but it does not work for. The okay, A K Mishra, last thought to you, Uddhav Thakre and Hindutva. There is no correlation. It looks to me that there was no relation between Uda Satre and Hindu. So, you know, they gave off for the IS for the Ami. Tilandali, they are Tilandali, they made a mother that was Ota. There is no option has been left by Uda Satre to come back to rejoin Hindu due to certain reason, due to certain kind of the greedy reason for the politics and gaining few seats, be, um, the, becoming the chief minister, he has completely, you can say, the vanished the Hindu okay. to, as well as the Bala Sahab ideology. Okay, so consensus. Come back, even in, yeah. We have consensus, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> or at least one point. It might not be on who's winning, but we have consensus on this point that Uddhav Thakre is not a fan or a representative of Hindutva. Now, you can argue that's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, depending on which side of the political fence you sit. Tejas Mehta, 10 seconds, I need to take a break, sir. Yeah, one, just one short a thought for all our viewers, you know, the, the same question can be asked for the BJP. If the, B, the BJP does not do well this time, has the NCP joining the BJP diluted their ideology of anti-corruption? That also okay. is an important, uh, you know, counter <coughs> question to this entire thing. Okay, anti. I've been doing this long enough for my hair to have turned grey, only to <laughs> see one politician ever convicted of corruption, uh, because that was Lalu Prasad Yadav. I went through 2G and Colgate and CWG in the early parts of my career, 
and guess what nothing happened everybody just disappeared uh, and that's uh, that says a lot about uh, politics and governance in this country but we've got an answer on one question and consensus and i am happy for it as a journalist chota line sokram just one line okay all right okay Chot point point added by by the veteran journalist who's been doing it since before i was born chota line sokram okay Chot all right i take a break back in a minute for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon